Hi, this is Billy here with a U.S. News update. Today is November the 7th, 2023, episode 87. Some of the things I'll cover. Stars and species. Banks hold deposits. Texas Rangers and bomb. And the wing makers. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Cliff High, Gene DeCode, Deborah Tavares, JWTV, Suspicious Observers, Jessica Ariel Morocco, Peter the Insider, Dr. William Mount, Dr. Michael Sila, Judy Byington, SpaceWeather.com, and Real Raw News. So let's get started. Okay. I'd like to say thank you to Leisha. E for support for my channel. And I have a Patriot subscriber who says, The fires are starting in the Tennessee woods. And we'll need to watch out because my Patriot subscriber believes it will spread across the U.S. I have a Patriot subscriber. She majored in forensic science. And she's talking about, she had a professor who was, had a grant from the FBI, and he could make anthrax float in the air. In other words, anthrax could be aerosolized to be airborne. Very dangerous. And she says that sleeper cells in northern Virginia are being activated and the FBI knows the locations of the sleeper cells of course they do they bring them over give them phones and money and fly them around yes they know they have their phone numbers it's going to be the shadow FBI the shadow UN and other shadowy uh, US uh, uh, groups like uh, FEMA and the CIA, but these groups, the CDC, the FDA, FBI, CIA, FEMA, are not part of the federal government. They're private corporations funded by the federal government. So, yeah. And now I have this. Uh, this Patriot subscriber is referencing a story from Real Raw News. The White Hats stopped, yeah, uh, a, an IED, a bomb that would have been put off at the World Series Texas Rangers Parade. Yeah, uh, sad, I mean, the White Hats stopped it, but yeah, that was going to happen. I have more details on it. I have a Patriot subscriber who's talking about there was a pro-Palestine uh, Palestine rally in D.C. Uh, on November 5 with 30,000 people there. It wasn't televised. Nope. I'm a Patriot subscriber. We are way past the Constitution in terms of having a basis to throw out a tyrannical government. Yeah, that's actually part of our Constitution. We the people have the right, if our government becomes tyrannical, to take it down to the ground and put in a new government. Yeah. I think that's coming pretty soon. All right. Let's talk about stars and species. Now, we've been hearing, uh, you know, some kind of space event. A lot of people call it Planet X. Uh, that's just a youth euphemism that can include uh, Ben Davidson with suspicious observers calls it the galactic sheet which he sa says surrounds the solar system Mike from around the world calls it waves of energy and then we are familiar with the term planet X Nibiru um, there's also binary sun a second sun coming in I would uh, you know, subscribe to that too. So we have the sun. We have what's called a binary sun, a second sun coming into our solar system. So we know the solar system, the Milky Way, would include all of our planets like Mars and Jupiter and Venus and Earth in our solar system. 
So the binary sun is going to impact our sun. And uh, what I got from God was these cycles happen in terms of the solar system and in terms of Earth. There will be a, a great and wonderful impact on humans on Earth with this impact from space on Earth and our solar system. Uh, for humans, uh, what I'm getting from God is an extension of life, a restoration of youth, uh, and, and we retain our memories. So it's good. But that's coming. And when this binary sun gets close enough to our sun, our sun will go dark while this binary sun is recharging, and which will last, I understand, maybe three or four days. Then it will withdraw and go out of our solar system. What we have currently going on on the Earth, we have our electromagnetic shield that would come out the poles like Antarctica and Antarctica, make a shield around the Earth to protect us from radiation from space, space debris, and other things. But what's happening is the electromagnetic shield is weakening. So we have more impact on Earth from, uh, here's the sun that's putting out CMEs that's leading to uh, auroras. Now, what Ben Davidson is bringing out is that even mild CMEs, say a geomagnetic storm of two to three, is giving us uh, auroras on a scale of seven to nine. Recently, over the weekend, we had them all the way down to Texas and over to Europe, plus some other distinct things are going on. So we're getting auroras, we're getting other phenomena upon the earth, we're getting auroras called northern lights, we're getting this uh, SARS, we're getting this Steve, and I'll define these for you. So we have SARS, our stable aurora red arcs that was named in 1956 but they're not stable and they're not auroras they're actually heat that's making uh, a red uh, s s sign in our skies yeah upper atmosphere of earth is heating up and we had one november 5 we had auroras 11, 6, 11, 7. We have also uh, this phenomena called a steve that produces across the sky, like in a line. It's purple. And these are charged particles that are moving yeah yeah steve is a a strong thermal emission velocity enhancement it was seen over the weekend in north europe and in ireland it's a solid color line purple it was just discovered a few years ago it's not an aurora what this is is a hot river of gas so we see upon the earth impacts from the sun. We see auroras, that's charged particles. We see SARS, that's increased heat in our atmosphere. We see Steve, that's hot rivers of gas. And the impact upon uh, life upon earth, according to uh, Mike from around the world, and um, this is also my area. Uh, I used to teach high school science. I majored in life earth science. I have a particular interest in the Earth's electromagnetic shield and how it impacts Earth. Now, 
So we're seeing this phenomenon. We're seeing it because the shield around the earth is weakening. So what Mike from around the world is saying, we believe he works for the NSA, he knows stuff, is that we could see entire species die in the process of migration. And this is because, here's the earth, the sun, and he says we will see also see new stars and that correlates to uh, something I had from God a few months ago I put out so yes and the reason we're going to is because the earth's orbit around the Sun is going to change that means the earth will be in a new different position in the sky in relation to the solar system other planets and the stars we could see entire species die in the process of migration because the magnetite in their brains we humans also have magnetite in our brains this uh, change coming in the next few months or next 24 months it's also going to impact humans uh, a, a strong indicator on based on many studies and observations is humans will experience a uh, high, higher level of depression because the magnetite in our brain will be affected we will feel unstable which for many people will lead to depression but if you understand that it's a physical phenomena outside of yourself uh, then you know uh, take steps to overcome your depression uh, more exercise a change in diet a change in routine like that but the death of entire species during the process of migration I can see that as being uh, quite possible so if you know that these changes are going to take place then you can prepare for them uh, mentally and have a plan and because we will also have impacts on plants crops and other things okay so now Judy Byington okay so the sources for this next story is Judy Byington and Dr. William Mount and I also think uh, uh, a Mr. Gardner brought this out on his podcast that the charges we know were court charges against President Trump have been dropped in all courts and that it's highly likely uh, that the House of Representatives will bring forth a a resolution to impeach uh, JB there's simply too much evidence and it's all going public so we can see the White Hats are having a positive impact upon the mainstream media so we have this we have a federal judge who's affirming there is hard evidence against JB and other members of the Biden family and now what we're getting to with uh, bank deposits is that we're seeing banks uh, are freezing they're freezing loans but for me and I'm sure a lot of other customer bank customers they are holding bank deposits and they're not crediting uh, this to individuals accounts you know like you have an automatic deposit now they tried to say it was the ACH the automated clearing house I mean that's how I get uh, automatic deposits to my account and that's how most people do they get automatic deposits for their paycheck other sources of income and then they have 
uh, automatic uh, payout systems in place to pay their bills. Well, uh, these deposits coming in for people's paychecks and other sources of income are being held by certain banks. That includes uh, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, Trust, U.S. Bank Plus. Now, Dr. William Mount uh, put this out that the FDIC has ordered the banks to hold the deposits. What I'm getting from uh, news items is that the FDIC is saying to the banks, uh, don't charge the bank customers uh, late penalties or, you know, if they have a payout because their paycheck has not been credited and, you know, there's not enough money in their account, don't charge them extra money. I suspect the truth is probably somewhere in between. But this is affecting uh, bank deposits made 11, 2, 3, 4. And I would suspect, I mean, we're up to the 7th, most likely on the 6th and 7th. So that's going on with these big banks. So what can we say? And now we'll cover some new information about more oceanfront property. I covered that in a previous video, Texas, Florida. Uh, covering Maui, uh, Gaza, Alcapuco, because the deep state wants oceanfront property for their 15-minute cities. I suspect also that major earthquake we saw about uh, six weeks ago in Morocco also could be, because I brought that out, that was not natural. And so we're at a new area now coming out from Benjamin Fulford, which didn't make the mainstream news over the weekend in Baja. It's called Baja, California, but it's actually part of Mexico. And they had something similar to the hurricane that went into Acapulco, Otis that went from a tropical storm to a Cat 5 in a few hours. This was Tropical Storm Pillar that came out uh, this past weekend, and it was a directed energy weapon, just like we saw here and here, here, and most likely uh, something like that in Gaza. I'm suspecting that. Now, Benjamin Fulford's information is the directed energy weapons, um, and that would have been true in Mali and other locations, causes OnStar, that's in vehicles, it's like a navigation system, to explode. It causes smart uh, meters on houses, for electricity to explode. The analog meters are not affected on homes. And Deborah Tavares brought that out some years ago. Now, uh, this is coming out, I believe, from Judy Byington and also Benjamin Fulford. President Trump will be back soon. Uh, we have that information from Michael Jacob by December. And this new information is President Trump will put in place Tom Holman, who will run the largest deportation ever seen in history. Now, people will, I believe, will also see the implementation of a new economic system, Nasara. People have to be inside their own country of citizenship to receive their money due them under Nasara. So we see many people will most likely return to their, their native country. They'll want that money. So we have that going on. 
And now we'll talk about, yeah, the Texas Rangers won the World Series recently. And over the weekend, that was near Arlington. That's near Dallas. And they had a parade to celebrate the victory of the Texas Rangers. And uh, we had like a 1.9 mile long parade. Estimated 300,000 people were there. And the White Hats from the office of Marine General Eric Smith, the 75th Battalion of the U.S. Army Rangers, located uh, FEMA and FBI agents. They had been tipped off, found them in hotel rooms trying to assemble bombs to put out on the parade route. They had a tip uh, from an, a White Hat agent from Homeland Security that FBI and FEMA agents who had taken an oath to support JB and not the Constitution were going to put this together. The parade was on Friday, November 3, about noon. So, Praise the Lord. That was taken down. But it's another indication of who can you trust or who not to trust. Okay. Now we'll talk about wing makers. And first I'll do a timeline. So, of the earth. So about, I don't know, millions of years ago, we had in space a planet, Tiamat, that had humans on it that uh, was uh, exploded by some kind of ET fight. Zechariah Sitchin gave information about it in his series of the Earth Chronicles. And by the way, he was deep state, and part of his um, goal in put, writing these books was to put forth the false narrative that ETs created humans. In the beginning, there was God the Father, who created first angels and second humans. He gave humans uh, free will. Angels have free will, but angels don't have the ability to reproduce. You never heard of a male angel copulating with a female angel because uh, they weren't created that way. They also weren't created with the ability that humans have created in the image of God to think, to speak, and to create reality. Now, Gene Decode says that humans were the first species. I have a second uh, Patriot subscriber, Ginger St. Clair, First Nation seer from Alaska. Uh, Gene Decode had, in 1992, a half-hour session with God. In 1986, she had 20 minutes with God. She corroborates much of what Gene Decode says. So humans have, uh, in our DNA, we carry the blueprint for all other species that were created after humans. This is part of the information that has been withheld from us, that there are other species up on earth. And you may say, well, I don't read that in my Bible. We have 66 books, and according to Gene Decode, the full Bible is 777 books to be released in the next few years as they are translated. So I submit uh, we information has been withheld from us, but it was God who created humans and all life. 
Okay, so Tiamat, uh, the humans came to Earth, and this was the group that from which uh, the offspring of Adam and Eve uh, selected husbands and wives. So we had that happen millions of years ago. We had from this group, uh, we had Atlantis, Lamaria, who engaged in the sin, as did Sodom and Gomorrah, of genetic manipulation. And so, when a society engages in genetic manipulation and gets to a certain point, God uh, facilitates or allows natural events or sometimes wars to take out those populations. So we see Atlantis and Lemuria going away about 50,000 years ago, all the way to 12,000 years ago. Then God created a new Adam and Eve, Jesus, and many call Yeshua. Um, Adam and Eve and Jesus both had 64 strand DNA. Currently, we have two major strands with 10 dormant. So, they could do a lot more than we can. So, that's going on. Now, along with this timeline, uh, that information I had from God is that God will begin to reassemble his Israel. Currently, it's about this shape. God will do this in 2035, and it will include many, much of the land that God originally set up for Israel, from Egypt, from Lebanon, from Syria, from Jordan. So, that's 2035. Now, this new information comes from the future, from humans, wing makers, about 750 years in the future. So that's going on. And you say, I don't believe in time travel. So I'll explain how I understand it from Jesus. Okay. Now I have a video, God, Cliff High, and Reality. Still on my rumble. I'll make a listing for you. We live in a material world. And Cliff High doesn't believe we have time travel. I submit we don't have time travel in the material world. But once you get off Earth into space... And this is the way I understand it from a Jesus who many call Yeshua. Then time is continuous. It's all now. So you can come off of the earth from material reality into space. And you can go back in time and come down from space to earth to the material world likewise you can go forward and come down now is our future set in stone no it isn't we have free will but we can learn different things at different times so that's going on so i believe these this wing maker information is coming from Jessica Ariel Morocco. I'll link her site in two videos with Peter the Insider. They both work for the ACIO Alien Contact Intel Organization a Division of the NSA. So they have good info. Now, what the wing maker, the information they're getting from the wing makers corroborates uh, messages from our Bible. So that's going on. 
Now, we have this. So, they came in seven locations. Finland, this wingmaker group for 750 years in, in the future came back to Earth in our past and they left information. One is in Chaco Canyon, New Mexico. They left some in Finland and China, Australia, Antarctica, South America, in Peru, Africa. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so these locations received information. And now we'll cover what was found in Chaco Canyon. So they have 23 to 24 chambers. Now, I haven't seen a diagram of the chambers, but it's my perception that they may, the way they're laid out, present the form of a symbol. And for me, I would not be surprised if it was something like a tree of life. And they left paintings, poetry, music. Uh, they left um, other things for us to find. So, Jessica, okay. Right. So, it was like a time capsule. In New Mexico, it's called the Ancient Arrow Project. And they discovered it about 27 years ago in the 90s. Seven sites, Chaco, New Mexico, Cusco, Peru, Canton, China, Australia, Finland, Africa, and Chad. Antarctica at Volstock. Right. And they found paintings, poetry, music, philosophy, cosmology. So we have new information about the stars. But they really left a lot of tech. Things like a compass. Uh, things that Peter the Insider describes as a time machine. And they don't touch them. Now, what I've gotten from God is, this is Second uh, Samuel, I think it's 23.7. It says, if you want to touch the sun's a Belial, and I interpret that as also meaning other species. That you need the you need to be fenced with iron and have the staff of a spear, and I interpret this as blood and DNA. So we see, and it's my understanding, God sets us in certain families. We come down that bloodline. We inherit genetically memories and skills. And he puts us in a certain geographic place and a certain date. And I submit, uh, that certain individuals on the earth, based on their blood and DNA, will be able to work with this new information. So it's a very exciting time to be on earth. So that's going on. Now, we have this. So I'll also give you some uh, short prayer. I'll give you some information for the prayer. Okay, Earth, space, 
Uh, it's my perception we have lines of energy on earth many people call them ley lines and in space the same way so this prayer i'm doing includes the term furry node and that has to do with a node and it's furry because there are many points of energy making it appear like furry so here is the prayer uh, given to me by god ripples across space september 5 2023 ripples there are across space which are links of pilgrim prayers links of dna filaments of energy crisscrossing starry skies prayers that form furry nodes binding the real world to the stars which will soon pull down the nest of evil enemies furry nodes embed the good news of jesus who many call yeshua from starry sky to starry sky and we say thank you god the father god the son jesus who many call yeshua and god the holy spirit and i would like to point out that uh, that information that came from the future from the wing makers put in seven places upon earth uh, gives us the communication that there is a hell and that we are to do good so we see a message from the future linking up with the good news of the bible and so i say to my family and friends remain steady out there continue to pray god is in charge and he is on the move i love you and i'll see you soon